So, you have come here to learn about Scipio. Take a seat, student. In this video, I will discuss the following three topics. Scipio's abilities, good loadouts with Scipio, and how to play Scipio. Stay tuned for a detailed guide on Scipio Africanus. I will have a quick run on the abilities and then we will discuss loadouts, playstyles and tactics with Scipio, where his abilities will be discussed more detailed. The first ability of Scipio is War Cry. This ability allows you to reduce the melee defense and morale of enemy units within proximity. It is important to understand that this debuff does not stack multiple times. So keep it cool out there, Commander. Activate this ability only on one unit every 15 seconds for maximum debuff time. The second ability is Wrath of Mars, Scipio's Charge. Many players believe that Scipio is the only cavalry commander for the Romans because he has a charge. That works with cavalry and the tier 5 cavalry unit of the Romans does not have a cavalry charge by itself. And when you check the unit abilities of the Calaris unit, you can definitely be tricked into believing this. However, when you join a battle playing the Roman tier 5 cavalry unit, for example with Sola, you will see that you actually do have a cavalry charge now. Seeing this, you will understand that neither is Scipio your only option for the Roman cavalry, nor is Roman cavalry the only option for playing Scipio, as the charge also works on melee and ranged infantry. His third ability, Oath of Perseverance, is the reason why I passionately dislike playing the Roman cavalry with Scipio. Oath of Perseverance grants your unit an immense defensive buff, increasing your melee defense, charge deflect and morale by impressive amounts. But for what price? Minus 80% movement speed. Once activated, this ability cannot be deactivated unless you get your units out of melee combat for at least 5 seconds. Should you play Roman cavalry with Scipio? No. No. No, 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 no. Why not? Why does one play cavalry in the first place? The first reason is mobility. The duty for a cavalry player is to quickly flank the enemy frontline or completely avoid it and chase after priority targets, such as artillery, slingers, and archers. What is crucial in order to do so? Exactly, movement speed. What cavalry has the highest movement speed? The Barbarians. What cavalry has the lowest movement speed? You guessed it. The Roman cavalry and some units in the Carthaginian cavalry line. The Carthaginian cavalry line has two different cavalry types mixed in, but I will get to them in another video. So, the base movement speed of the Roman cavalry is the lowest you can find in the game. But even worse, Scipio does not make up for this with any good movement ability. All he has is a charge. It is quite powerful due to its 5 second duration, but risky to use because of its high base cooldown of 45 seconds. And if you thought, it can't get worse about mobility, here comes the kicker. With the defense buff on Scipio, you sacrifice another 80% of your movement speed. At 6.9 meters per second base movement speed, that will slow you down to, let me just quickly get my magical mouse hat, at 1.38 meters per second. 1.38 meters per second? I am faster with two broken arms in a wheelchair! Now, what is the slowest unit in the game? The Roman Heavy Infantry. Nobody cares that they are slow. They are swordsmen carrying 20 kg or 44 pounds of armor on the battlefield, standing only on their legs. They are also heavily armored. And these guys outrun you now, at double the speed you can come up with. You, the cavalry player, now get outrun and flanked by the slowest infantry on the battlefield. Now imagine that Alexander or Miltiades come and hit you with their movement speed debuffs. Thank god, catapults only have a ranged attack because they could just run over your horsemen at this point. Because your Oath of Perseverance ability stays active as long as you are in melee combat, any smart enemy would just keep you in combat until their spearman units come to give your cavalry a good old thrust. And there is nothing you can do about it. As the description of the ability already says, fight to the death, quite literally. Now you enter combat and before you can realize it, wig, whack, boom, you're out. You can only beg for mercy or support of your allies, 
who in this game are often as reliable as a 5 year old who was hired to guard the candy. Seriously, can this guy just freaking stop to shoot my elephant with his javelins? Just look at the other two in comparison, they barely lost any health and this one is about to die. Okay, maybe you can make it out alive and no, got one more salvo of friendly fire, thanks man. The second reason, flanking. You play cavalry to outrun enemy infantry units and charge into the enemy priority targets, most commonly their ranged units. Very often ranged units try to stay near their allied melee infantry units that provide either cover or quick support in case enemy cavalry approaches them. You don't have the speed to surprise them and your charge is not half as effective as a charge of the Greek cavalry. The barbarians increase their damage output with a mount kick ability, but you stand there, your charge has finished off only half of the enemy archers, your slow approach has given the enemy infantry time to come close and now you have the choice of losing half your troops while retreating into safety and preparing another half-hearted flank attempt with similar success chances like this, or you pull a cocky move and activate your beloved defense buff. We are still talking about flanking, which means you had to go behind the enemy lines before you charged into their archers. That means that now you are surrounded by enemy infantry that even though you are heavily armored and got your defense buff up and all this nice stuff, you are still cavalry and spearmen and swordmen still have a slight advantage over you. So now once again you completely rely on your teammates that, you guessed it, won't show up. So how do you play the Roman cavalry with Scipio? I recommend a defensive playstyle which makes you feel like a joke considering you're a cavalry player, you want to be fast, flank some enemies, but the tools you're given are just the opposite of what you expect from a cavalry unit. One tip. Play the Roman cavalry with Sulla. Unlike what people might think, you don't lose the charge ability, it just becomes an average cavalry charge instead of Scipio's Wrath of Mars. Plus, now you have an offensive movement speed ability and you can further support your teammates and yourself by activating Sulla's Proscription ability. It casts an aura around the unit that activates it and lowers the melee attack of all enemy units within proximity and of the unit that activated the ability, so make sure to not activate it on all three units at the same time when they fight the same target. This ability is a toggle ability, meaning you can deactivate it at any given time. A good moment would be after you routed the enemy unit that you just successfully flanked. Congratulations! My conclusion to this is as follows. You definitely can make Roman cavalry work with Scipio, but it feels nothing like playing a cavalry unit anymore and rather like playing the fastest light infantry unit in the game that can choose to become the slowest medium armored cow riders ever. So what loadouts are recommendable on Scipio? It can make sense to have two infantry units and one cavalry unit in your loadout with the idea to send your infantry into combat and keep the enemy busy while your cavalry is trying to roam or flank the enemy front. For a recommendable defensive loadout, you could bring a heavy infantry and two light artillery units with you, that you set up in a position where your light artillery can shoot attacking enemy infantry or elephants while your heavy infantry places infantry stakes and protects your light artillery. And last but not least, my favorite loadout on Scipio has got to be the 3 javelin unit loadout. You might wonder why. Javelins are in the current state of the game crucial to fighting elephants that with the currently unsatisfying matchmaking are a real struggle to defeat. And playing them successfully versus elephants is what Scipio, in my opinion, is best for. Okay, let's play a little minigame. This game is called Can You Spot the Counter Unit to the Elephant? The obvious answer seems to be the javelins, right? But then again, why are the javelins running from the elephant? Take your time, we'll get back to these guys. As you can see, with the javelins the game is much more fun. Mostly because you deal a ton of damage in a short time while your only hard counters enemy cavalry. These archer salvos are barely hitting any of my men and it's easy to dodge, because the firing archer units are so far away and the arc of their volleys flying in adequately high. Oh god, now I'm being flanked by enemy cavalry, I will lose all my men and... Just kidding, some caltrops and these fools can get wrecked. I have played many games with Scipio and Javelins, and it's been the best games I had with the Romans lately ever since artillery has been changed. At this point I want to mention that you should definitely use the charge on the Javelins to dodge, not to increase your mobility or traveling across the battlefield. If like in the scene before an elephant might chase you down, just keep running until they use their stampede and now you hit the charge to gain enough distance to the elephants that you can shoot them with an attack and the focus fire ability. 
This is really something that makes Scipio such a fitting commander for the Javelins. While Caesar's and Sulla's movement buffs come to effect only over time, and Germanicus' charge is too short to give you the necessary distance. I tested the cavalry loadout with Sulla for this video for the first time, and I was shocked of how much fun the cavalry suddenly became. All in all, I had a pretty good payday. Thank you everybody for watching. I am sorry for not uploading as frequently as I want to, but be sure I really enjoy creating these videos and if you are looking forward to see more videos about Total War Arena, click the subscribe button to make sure you won't miss any. Now back to these fellas. I wish I could tell you that my elephants completely destroyed the javelins there, but unfortunately the time ran out before they could do so.